Hi there everyone, Roy Robles here. Part of the expenses and goals of a growing family need is a car, but not every one of us can afford to splurge in a brand new one. The used car market has always been booming in the past year despite the pandemic, or maybe because of it, customers have been weighing their options on whether to drop some cash for a brand new car or save a few bucks for a used one. You can always head on to Facebook Marketplace for the next deal, but you also have to deal with the potential problems like lemons, scam artists, or even lack of financing choices. Luckily, carmoody.com.ph offers the largest catalog of used cars from trusted dealers and sellers. Your safety is our priority, so every car for sale is properly reviewed for legitimacy and your peace of mind. Now, here are the top five cars that people search for on carmoody.com.ph. Maybe one of these models will be in your garage today. Let's start with number one, the Mitsubishi L300. Not everyone's searching for cars plan on using them for enthusiast driving. In fact, a lot of potential buyers look at cars for their utility ahead of anything else. And when it comes to utility, one car has proven to be the equivalent of a Swiss army knife in the local car scene, and that is the Mitsubishi L300. To this day, the L300 is still the most sought after used car for its multi-purpose use potential as a people mover, cargo hauler, even a family car. The possibilities and versatility of the L300 is almost endless. Interior amenities were pretty sparse to say the least, but who could resist the charm of an old van or cab? You can't imagine the type of demand the L300 pulls these days, especially for business purposes. With the rise of delivery and pickup services, having an L300 in your fleet really makes a huge difference. The Mitsubishi L300, despite being discontinued in 2012, has long been a staple for businesses and families alike. Thanks to the eponymous 4056 engine, a 2.5 liter diesel that makes a whopping 88 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque, which was pretty slow but is as reliable as the old outdoors. The Mitsubishi L300 was easy to maintain and had parts of plenty. Models that are more than 20 years old can still fetch a pretty penny at around 500,000 pesos. If you think that's too steep, good luck finding one as these things get snagged up just like that and they literally fly off the shelves in just a few days. So make sure to turn on your notifications for carmoody.com.bh to get alerted every time someone posts an L300 for sale. Next item on the list is the Toyota Vios. The best selling car in the Philippines and not just the best selling sedan, it's actually the best selling car for a very good reason. The Vios has enjoyed the popularity of being the best selling car not because of any special tech toys or cutting edge technologies, no sir, but because of being absolutely brilliant in the most basic aspects of motoring. Styling is pretty offensive and caters to a wide range of potential buyers. Toyota never felt the need to revolutionize the look by reinventing the wheel. You do, however, have a wide range of customization options for every Vios. You can get a bare bones model without power windows, and there's even a Gazoo Racing and TRD Special Editions with all the go fast bits you like. And the beauty of having strength in numbers is the sheer number of spare parts available. I envy Vios owners for not having to deal with the anxiety of their cars not starting in the morning, and you can find a great deal on a Toyota Vios for not a lot of money but are still assured that it will start the first time you twist the keys in the ignition. As long as you do the bare minimum of maintenance to the car, the engine all throughout its three generations have pretty much been the same offerings. And why not? If it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? The interior of the Toyota Vios has never been the pinnacle of luxury, but every generation keeps getting better than the last one. The seats are just fine, but they could definitely use more bolstering and padding. Long johns out of town can get pretty jarring, but that's why stopovers were invented, right? Fuel economy is above average as well, with the 1.3 liter taking the cake by easily achieving 11 kilometers per liter in the city. Fuel economy is not the 1.5 liter strong suit though, but you do get more power over the small displacement. Toyota has always been synonymous with great value, great resale value at that, so get ready to shell out no lower than 300,000 pesos for a high mileage of Vias up to 700,000 pesos for one in good condition. They may be pricier than other cars of the same area and segment, but you do get the renowned Toyota reliability that no other car brand can pride themselves with. 
just keep an eye out for modified units and for those used for taxi use. Those may need some extra TLC, but can actually be used as bargaining chips on your next purchase. Speaking of market value, if there was one car that changed the landscape of the market and epitomized family car goals, that's the Toyota Innova. The Toyota Innova is the spiritual successor to all AUVs and MPVs of the late 90s and early 2000s. It banked on the demand for Filipinos looking for a reliable, affordable car that can both ferry their family or barcada to their next out-of-town trip, but still provide an elevated sense of refinement and sophistication. Riding on the same platform as the Fortuner and the Hilux, it carries over the same rugged and bulletproof jeans as those two, two of Toyota's most iconic off-road and SUV titans, but adding more comfort and being a dedicated people mover. It's the equivalent of the minivan in the US of A. If soccer moms were more prevalent in the country, the Toyota Innova would be their MPV of choice. With seating for an entire family and cargo space for two weeks worth of groceries, buyers can't deny the versatility of the Toyota Innova. A 2.5 liter diesel version is the model of choice, and although it is by no means sporty, the power figures of 102 horsepower and 260 Nm of torque were adequate for daily use. Speed was never the main selling point of the Toyota Innova, obviously, but it sold like hotcakes. While the newer generation offered more power under the hood, it still continues to be a bestseller because of the aforementioned versatility. A used Toyota Innova still sells for north of 450,000 pesos, as previous owners appreciate and know that people will buy them at that particular price point. Whatever I said about the Toyota Innova can pretty much be carried over to the next car, the Mitsubishi Adventure. The Adventure, as well as competing models in the segment, lay the groundwork for Filipinos to learn and accept the MPV as their main family car of choice. With looks that mimic the same generation's Pajero Fieldmaster, it was easy to package and market the Mitsubishi Adventure as a more affordable alternative. It featured boxy lines and sporty plastic claddings to give potential buyers the macho sense of feeling whenever they gawk at the Adventure as they walk away from the parking lot. More so than the looks, the Mitsubishi Adventure offered the Filipino family a useful conveyance for all their needs. There are options to allow 10 people at a single time inside the AUV. Just don't expect this to be a speed demon though. I'm sure that the Adventure doesn't even have a lick of pretense that it is because it's powered by an updated version of the 4D56 diesel, the same one found in the L300. It makes 73 tiny horses and 143 Nm of torque, but a 2.0-liter 4G63 gasoline engine was also available and makes more power at 114 horsepower and torque at 165 Nm. Although the diesel was less powerful in every way than the gas engine, it was certainly more economical. It was able to get 10 kilometers per liter in the city compared to the fairly thirsty 6.5 kilometers per liter on the petrol version. Good luck finding one at this point in time. Classic AUVs have hit a certain resurgence in the car community as a nostalgia machine and even older models hold their value pretty well. You won't find one in good condition for lower than 400,000 pesos. That's right, if you think your Civic holds its market value well, Wait till you see the AUVs in the next couple of years. Check out carmoody.com.ph to test your luck in finding one. The last car on the list isn't much of a surprise. Ever since they first introduced the Toyota Fortuner, Filipinos fell in love with it. Before the Fortuner, the only option you had of ever owning a rugged SUV would have to be spending a whole lot of coin for Pajero Fieldmasters or Land Cruisers. Finally, here was a car that everyone or Maria can afford and instantly look like twice the price they paid for it. It commands a certain presence on the road thanks to its rugged proportions and macho looking fascia. It democratized the SUV market and opened up the floodgates of possibilities to car buyers. The Toyota Fortune has suddenly brought in the family or even a college student's decisions on what their first cars would be. Customers have a choice between a petrol and diesel engine, but the latter was the one to go with. It carried the same engine and horsepower figures as the Toyota Innova I mentioned earlier, but buyers can also opt for the more powerful 3-liter diesel engine making 163 horsepower and 343 Nm of torque. Now, these figures certainly don't hold a candle to today's crop of SUVs, but these numbers are adequate for the Fortuner's weight and driving purpose. Being a Toyota, parts are plentiful, keeping costs of maintenance and repair low, but finding someone to let go of the Fortuners for cheap is more difficult than finding an honest politician. Get ready to pay upwards of 600,000 pesos for an okay model with high mileage, 
But once you own a Ford Tuner, you'll begin to understand why it's not that easy to let this thing go. Thanks so much for watching this episode with carmoody.com.ph. Make sure to visit the website to get more savings on your next used car. Drop us a comment down below and tell us what you think your next used car would be and subscribe to our channel for content just like this. I'll see you again in the next episode. Peace.